I know I'm gonna get in trouble for making this video because Houston's not here and the watermelon thing's his, but. Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and uh, it's just starting to dry out a little bit in the garden. But here's the thing, I can't just keep waiting to get everything planted. Houston and I have been dying to get everything else in the garden going, but it's like we're on this cycle of about twice a week it just rains and rains and rains. It's just starting to dry out enough and I've got things like okra plants that are four to six inches tall that need to go in the ground. Houston's watermelon seeds have got to get planted because he, he started the watermelon challenge with Leon and they've got to see who can grow the biggest watermelon. We've got some, some giant watermelon seeds, but we've got to get them in the ground. Typically we'll get our watermelon started several weeks ago, you know, in the high tunnel, in little cups and stuff. Just never got it done. One of those things, just never got them started. So we don't have watermelon starts, but pretty soon we're going to be out of town for a week for a vacation on, you know, where we go, Pensacola Beach, Florida. And uh, I need to get that stuff going before we leave. <sighs> the garden is what it is. So here's what I'm thinking. This year's probably, probably gonna just be a crap year in the garden. It's gonna be a sucky year in the garden. It just is what it is. The greenhouse, the high tunnel is doing great. Lots of food in there. Out here, the rest of it, I just kind of not had the motivation, the time, the energy, and uh, a lot of things have been going wrong with the garden this year. I'm thinking probably next year I'm going to end up building, or sometime this year, but for next year's garden season, probably going to end up building some more raised beds and put them on the outside of the high tunnel, down both sides or down the side and the front. I'm not sure just yet. I really, really like my raised beds inside the high tunnel. They're easy to take care of. They're easy to weed. You can really control the soil. Everything just grows really well in there. And I don't grow near the garden that I used to. So you can kind of see what I've got going here. But about five years ago, this whole area back here was garden all the way over there to Houston's trampoline. I had like 100 feet rows, 100 foot rows. Hey, it was great. It was huge. And uh, I was kind of hiding out in the shade because the sun, sun's kind of warm today. But I'm going to get in here, get the hoss wheel hoe out, see if I can bust open some rows, at least get our okra, watermelon, uh, squash, a few other things planted, and let it start growing uh, while we're gonna be out of town soon. It's definitely way too muddy to get the tractor out here, till this up again, and then use my row hippers, row builders that I have that I pull behind my tractor to build a big, tall, raised row. So I'm just gonna use the Haas Tools uh, wheel hoe. This is the high arch wheel hoe with the furrow attachment that you can spin them around and make a, a raised bed out of. So we're just gonna direct sow as watermelon seeds. I'm out of breath, if you can't tell. <laughs> The wheel hoe works great, but it can be a little bit of a workout, especially in this soft dirt. So still a little bit muddy, so I can't get the tractor in here until we'll just have to fight the grass. But we're going to use this whole side over here for his watermelon garden this year. So let's go get some seeds and show you what we're planting. I know I'm going to get in trouble for making this video because Houston's not here and the watermelon thing's his. But we're down to the last week of school. <sighs> He's at school today. I wish he was here. He's going to be mad at me for planting these, but... I've got to get some planting done while the weather's nice. So the first thing I'm going to plant, and this isn't for the largest watermelon competition that Leon and Houston are in, but this is a MI Gardener seed watermelon called Dixie Queen, and they're a smaller uh, round watermelon, like a basketball shape watermelon. Not going to win any competitions, but I want to grow some that'll that'll be mature a little sooner. And then Houston found some watermelons on Amazon. The kid. What six-year-old kid gets on Amazon or gets on the internet and looks for seeds, but I'm not sure if these are gonna grow or what they're gonna turn into, but I went ahead and bought them for him. There's 20 seeds in here, 
and they're supposed to be like an assorted variety of different color different meat color watermelon so there was red orange yellow blue and green so there is no telling what kind of mystery watermelons these are that's just because houston likes to have fun and grow something cool but here's the one this is what's going to do the trick this is what's going to give houston the possibility of outgrowing the 50 years of experience that leon has on him in gardening i say 50 probably more like uh 60 or 70 years of gardening ex experience but we went ahead and bought some carolina cross giant watermelon seeds so these are from morgan i think it's morgan county or Mor morgan county seeds so um carolina cross are what you would see if you went to like a state fair or something and had those giant watermelons a couple of years ago leon gave houston one and it was like 93 pounds i believe but leon didn't grow it but that was what it was so this is going to be houston's ticket to winning the giant watermelon contest and like i said we're just going to go ahead and direct sow them this year i kind of feel bad but uh i'm gonna do it I'm just direct sow them well i think that's enough gardening for one day now i know houston's probably gonna want to shoot me for planting this watermelon seeds without me but i got three 50 foot rows of watermelon seeds planted for houston and then i got about 25 okra plants in the ground here and eight or ten more squash and zucchini and plus started some more squash and zucchini seeds just direct sow those and uh it's just getting hot man I got to after I planted those I went inside the hot tunnel I didn't show you guys any of that I just drip and sweat and Oklahoma heat's no joke even though it's not summer yet here when you get inside that hot tunnel the temperature may not be but about five six seven eight degrees difference but there's no wind in there when you're outside you get a little wind and when you sweat it cools you off in that hot tunnel hmm not so much Whew. it's gonna be a warm summer the thing is right now it's not that hot but with all the rain we've been getting, the humidity is probably at about 85 or 90 percent. And that humidity will work on you. So while I'm out here, I might as well come over and talk about the goats for a minute. Everyone has been asking like crazy, how's Lambert? What's Lambert doing? Since we're not bottle feeding her anymore, I don't show her on video every day. And everyone's concerned that we're going to sell Lambert. Well, here's Lambert. Hey. Lambert. What you doing, little Lambert? Hmm? What you doing? And there's Bear. Everybody loves Bear. Goats are all kind of spread out right now. But this time of year, I don't feed my goats any grain at all. They're just kind of out on grass and they eat tree leaves and all that stuff. They keep my tree leaves trimmed up, everything that they can stand up and reach. So they're kind of scattered out here. Like there's a group of them there, and there's a group there. So I'm still waiting on a couple people that have already paid for a couple little bucklings. But a ton of people have started asking if we have any goats for sale. No does. No does for sale. Check this out. It's nap time. During the middle part of the day, they just come back to the house, come back to the barn and just chill here in the yard. So they'll drift off and graze for a couple hours and then come back and drift off and come back. They just kind of come back to the yard and sit around and chew their cud and swish flies. But we do have a couple kids for sale still. I don't have any of the old, older ones that were born in February, but I've got a couple little bucklings. Um, Oreo here, I had a lot of people interested in him. 
I say Oreo. The little Oreo looking one right there. A lot of people were interested. Fairly certain he sold, not paid for yet. This little spotted buck right here, I think for sure is spoken for. Then we still have Skip's baby, which was Houston's little one that I told everybody Houston was gonna get the money from the sale on that one. Um, I'm not sure we're gonna be able to do the auction thing. A lot of people said there may be some stipulations on YouTube's rules. YouTube has lots of rules. So if anybody wants to make an offer to Houston for his little um, gray buckling right there, he's not ready to go yet, but he's growing. He's gonna be pretty. Then the only other one I'm gonna have for sale is gonna be the one out of this little spotted doe. There you go. Move a little mama. There he is. That's a pretty little buckling kid right there. He's hiding from me. What are you doing, little girl? So that's kind of an update on the goats. I do have a couple little buck kids for sale. They're still young. They're not going to be ready to go yet. But if you're interested, let me know. Houston's Houston's little baby. I'm not sure what we're going to sell him for. If you're interested in him, shoot, shoot us an offer, and we'll see if Houston takes it. And then uh, the little spotted one back there, um, I'm probably going to sell him for $300 just because he is so pretty. He's going to make a really pretty buck one of these days. So anyways, <sighs> I'm tired. I'm hot, I'm sweaty, and I have to go to work in about an hour. So I'm gonna end this video here. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day, and as always, we'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.